We'll just pretend I have some more cool to wear this to. Welcome back to Closet Raid. I am so excited to be styling Shelby Church for a full week. If you're new to my channel, I'm a wardrobe stylist. I've started this new series where I style different YouTubers, actors, recording artists, models. It's been really fun. I'm sitting here waiting for her to give me a FaceTime call so we can kind of have our consultation. You guys are gonna watch that in a minute. It's really interesting styling someone you've never met before because I go off of just, it sounds so annoying, but like I go off of vibes and like how they're reacting to pieces. Also visually like what their body is shaped like, what their proportions are like, what is flattering. So it's it's a really challenging, but I think that's kind of fun in it for me because it, it gives me a challenge. Okay, I feel like my style, it might sound bad, but I feel like it is pretty basic. Like I love wearing just black and white neutral colors, things that are comfortable. Every once in a while, a fun color like red or something. I yeah. like, but for the most part, I don't really wear that a lot of colors. Kind of like minimalist. Them. Like I've obviously been following you like on YouTube and on Instagram. So I feel like it's like basics, like simple yeah. cuts, simple styles, nothing super like hype and like trendy, nothing super crazy. We'll throw and some I'll fun, like, crazy looks I in there. Okay, great, great. <laughs> That'll be fun. And I like wearing, like, not sweatpants when I'm filming a video, right? So I end up kind of dressing up sometimes, even if I don't leave my house. So we can make either work. Yeah, I definitely want to throw some stuff that's, like, out of the comfort zone and kind of just, like... Amazing. Yeah, I want to throw that in yeah. there. I'm so down. Finally have all of Shelby's looks right here behind me. I'm gonna walk through them with you guys. I think red will look amazing. I chose this jumpsuit that has little ties and buttons and it's just like a very classic silhouette. It has pockets. I really wanted to challenge her to step out and wear things she would never choose for herself. Her style is very simple, minimalist, neutral color palette. Again, I'm giving her another red moment. This is a little vest that you can wear either zipped up, but I'm probably gonna put in the notes that she can wear it like open with like a little black letter bandeau. To pair with it, I just chose these dressier pants that are just like a simple black cigarette style dress pant. Next up, we are really out of the comfort zone with a full crochet moment. I think this top is beautiful. It's fully crocheted, the back, the front, except for the front does have this nice lining, so it will not be sheer or see-through in the breast area. Um, These pants are major. These are so statement and just over the top, so I'm excited to see her reaction to these. Fun fact, I used these for styling and they were on a billboard in New York, so very cool. Obsessed with yellow this summer and this is such a gorgeous, fun halter style dress. It's really sweet. This little number is kind of cray. It is, again, a halter style. I think that'll look really flattering on her. Completely backless, sequin dress, so, so beautiful. And this is just kind of like the most dressy moment. We've been so cooped up. We haven't been able to be social, go to events, parties, um, all kinds of things like that. So hopefully this will, you know, make her feel dressy and fun. This I feel is more in her comfort zone, more in her element. Really pretty floral top that buttons down by Madewell. And these pants are so amazing. These are American Eagle. They make amazing jeans. It's kind of like a very all-American girl, very 1970s inspired. I feel like she'll really like that comfy casual look. Lastly, I have these maroon off-the-shoulder printed top. See, it ties in the front. It has this floral print. It's a little crop top. And then I decided to pair it with these motorcycle style pants that are like really stretchy and comfy. They have this detailing at the knee. Those are all the looks I picked out for Shelby. Cannot wait to get these over to her so she has her week's worth of styling ready to go. Okay, so I just got all the looks. I'm super excited. I haven't like looked really quickly yet. Obviously I can see like a little bit, but let's check out, I'll just put my camera here the first look okay so here's the first outfit i'm going to palm springs today <clears throat> so honestly might have to switch the jeans for shorts because it's like a million degrees but i really like this shirt it's kind of something i'd pick out anyway but i actually don't wear color hardly ever but i do like this it's very summery so yeah i've been wearing way too much black and white so big fan
to be totally honest, today was one of those days of the like quarantine where I was like, didn't feel like putting on a real outfit, but I'm glad I did. I feel more put together and more like it's a real day. <laughs> so love that. Today I'm actually in Palm Springs, so I decided to wear the best for warm weather of the looks. So we're wearing the yellow dress. Here's how it looks. I'll set this down somewhere. color of this one especially in Palm Springs this is like the perfect one because it's like a hundred degrees out today what do you think thanks I like the color your hair up and stuff I know my hair is just crazy right now so I was like your shoulders and stuff look nice yeah. yeah I never wear like halter tops but I feel like it actually is or bright like, a look out, like, a bright okay are you guys ready for today's outfit it's this one. Um, I really like the top. I feel like I'm on vacation. Like it's definitely fun. Here's a better look at it. You can see the pants, but you can't really see the detail right now. There you kind of can. They're like a little moto style. But yeah, here's how it looks on me. Okay, so today we have the red jumpsuit. I gotta be honest with this one, I don't love this one on me, but I feel like it would look good on someone else. I, I guess maybe it just doesn't fit super well. It's just like a lot of, a lot of clothes on me. Here it is, full outfit. Just imagine I'm wearing some like chunkier sandals. What do you guys think? So today's outfit is major festival vibe, which I love. This is a great swimsuit cover up actually. I'm definitely gonna wear this a lot. Um, but let me show you the full outfit because it's pretty cool This like screams Coachella or something even though we don't have that this year So here's the look with the red vest since I said red that I like red I think we got lots of red this week, which I love I feel like if I had picked this out for myself, I wouldn't trust my own judgment. I'd be like, I don't know, a vest? But since a stylist picked it, I'm like, oh, it's cool. Okay, here's the last look that I'm trying on. You know, I haven't worn a dress in forever because of the quarantine, so we'll just pretend I have somewhere cool to wear this to. I like how it um, like goes all the way to the neck. I thought it was one-shouldered, so when I was putting it on, I was like, wait, what's going on? But I think that looks pretty cool sequence. I'm like ready for New Year's. Honestly, I am ready for 2021 now. We're ready. Um, yeah, but I'll show you guys how this one looks. I haven't worn a dress, like a going out type of dress seriously in months at this point. So it's kind of fun to, you know, just put one on just because. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Wardrobe Takeover. Thank you, Shelby, for letting me take over your style this week. I also want to say thank you guys so much for those of you who have been super supportive. I am so happy because I'm still able to style in some capacity and I'm social distancing and quarantining and just trying to be super safe, but I miss working and styling. So this is such a fun, good balance for me. And I just want to thank you guys for supporting it because I'm super passionate about it. And I also want to say, I am not ignoring your guys' requests. I promise I have amazing guests that you want to see coming up on episodes, but it's such a process. I have to have FaceTime consultation and then I have to gather all the pieces and then I have to send them and then they have to receive and wear and record. And it takes a minute, but I promise you I have amazing guests coming up that you want to see that will be on new episodes. And I also have bonus content and subscriber editions and just really fun stuff. So be sure to hit the bell to get notified and I will see you in a new episode very, very soon.